Enzo Kazaga, you're about to take your son, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, to America for a new challenge. It's a different weight, obviously a different country, a lot of obstacles to overcome. How do you feel just in general about the particular challenge? Well, listen, I'm very, very excited. I mean, Minchol was announced, we announced obviously the fact that he, um, Frank announced the chance of Box Hopkins. He said, gleam like, oh, you know, I thought he won a jackpot, I thought it was Christmas Day. I thought Christmas was tight, you know, come again. But um, no, no, he's really, really looking forward to it. I'm myself excited because Joe's excited. It's a fight that he's always wanted, you know. Um, we've asked this question a couple of times before. And it's a fight that comes true now. Really, it's now, you know, it's a dream come true that you always say they want to go to America to fulfill his over um, his dream life or gym or dream to be boxing somewhere in America, which he has now. And uh, I say the 19th is confirmed. So let's get it on. How important is it for you to get your son to the end of his career undefeated? Well, that's me. It's very important because that, that's the goal we always had. It's a dream. We start off. I said we start off together, and we're going to finish together in something, for some shape or form. You know, when I say when I say finishing boxing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's finishing with boxing. You know, it could be other avenues, a promoter or a trainer. So we start together and we'll stand in together. And uh, the fact that I've reached this far, I think it's just a dream come true. Bernard Hopkins is a man that doesn't always come into the ring to fight. He back, on the back foot sometimes, counter punches. It's a style that Joe Calzaghe is not always at his best with, is it? Well, yeah, it's true. For, I mean, uh, horse for courses. And uh, Joe, I, I, was, I said, and we spoke about it, Joe's going to make his fight. Not really to concentrate on much what he's going to do with, because basically, Connie, I know for a fact exactly what he's going to do, exactly what you just said. You know, he's not a guy who comes and puts his heart in it or soul in it. He uses more or less go, he just try to con contrive with his ability. Which, you know, that's taking nothing away from me as a talented guy. He does know the moves. He's 44 years old. He's been around the block, block a couple of times. But saying that, you know, we've just got to prepare to fight our own fight. I'm not concerned about him. Just get on and fight our fight. And trust me, when Joe gets on that ring, he'll fight his own foot. And when he does, as you know him, you know, they explode, and he will explode. What do you do as a trainer in training to make sure at light heavyweight Joe keeps that speed? Um, there's no, I mean, let's be honest about it, he's been light heavy for the last 10 years. You know, that's something that's a bit of a damp squid when he comes onto that line there. Because for some reason, he walks around, he's, he state himself, everybody's known, he's a 14 stoner, you know, six foot plus. You know, he's always been uh, having to dry out and I've been boiled down for two stone and that's at least he's been doing it. Because when you, walk to, you look at him today, he's about 40 stone a day. You know, but it's just, all right, you might think, oh, that's, that's cruel. But he's always done that way. That's the way he's done it. As a kid, as you know, as a kid, he won the ABAs, whatever he won. But he's always there boxing stone below his weight. You know, every part of his career has always been doing this drying out. So it's part of his upbringing, really. So there's no, he holds no qualms whatsoever, actually. You know, Joe's been boxing, I say, and living on that pack at the 14 stone, probably look at Lars Hopkins, don't forget, he only gone to light heavyweight in the last year or so. So really, he's always bored, he's walking around, probably the maximum of 12 stone seven. What, in your gym, I know you're always used to sort of high energy and, and high motivation, but it's got to be a bit different now. You've got Enzo Macronali going for that huge fight against David Hay. You now have, you know, the main man, Joe Kazagi, going for another huge fight, not too far from each other. In the gym... Three, actually. <laughs> Gavin Reese, another world title. So I'd like to give emphasize to everybody that we've got another champion, which is WBA champion, that you know. Yeah. So, so in the gym, though, I mean, the, 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 the training, is it, is it hitting new levels? Is, are there high levels of intensity? Yeah, they're competing. That's the idea. I mean, my 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 actual um, <coughs> um, work rate probably have to stay as, as ever. Because at the end of the day, Joe, they know what we got. These guys that know exactly what to do. How to switch on now and switch off. Before when they, before they had titles, they didn't know really whether or not they can time time off because we don't know if it's going to be. You know yourself. The right date was very unpredictable. Now at least these champions know more or less. They're giving a well pre warning of when they're going to fight. So it makes my life a lot easier, doesn't it? A hell of a lot. I don't mind. They, they, they lay it together, they spar together, they work together, they like to come around there, who's best at this, who's best at that. It works absolutely treat for me. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome.